Panic. Hey, Chicho. Good to see you. May you explain why you think Brazil, most of South America, is our safe? It's uh, Marco. Marco, how are you doing? Uh, why it's safe? There's going to be safe areas. I think some of the islands are going to be safe. Okay. I think Cuba is not going to join the Well, That might change soon because Russia missiles most likely going there since the United States is putting missiles and stuff. So there's a lot of changes taking place. One thing we do need to do is let's put yellow in Venezuela. I think in Venezuela, right? There was civil unrest. It's the third coup, major coup that they tried to pull in Venezuela, right? If you want to find out the history of Venezuela and with the coup attempts, at least in this century anyway, since 2000, look into the documentary called uh, The Revolution Will Not Be Televised, right? This was when Chavez was in power, okay? It happened in the early 2000s, right? When Chavez was in power in Venezuela, Right, the United States, the CIA attempted a coup in Venezuela. They had their agents storm the Venezuelan White House, the parliament, and uh, the head offices, right, um, with the opposition, the CIA opposition, right, and they tried to remove Chavez. Then they actually took him, I believe. They took him, put him on a plane or a helicopter, flew him to a ship, U.S. ship or something like this, something crazy. The reason we have footage of what took place was because at the time, I believe there was an Irish documentary film crew that was doing something else with Venezuela. And when the coup happened, they were stuck in the parliament building, right? And literally, they were stuck. And the whole coup was taking place. So they started filming what was going on right so start from there you can look into the Bolivar bolivarian revolution and some of the history back then i looked into it a long time ago right look into it right and from that time that was the first huge coup that they attempted they did another one they did i think this is actually the fourth coup that they attempted in venezuela and we talked about venezuela that the choice for venezuela right now was uh sort of I don't want to say dictator, but you could call it a dictator if you want. A dictator in Venezuela, a Venezuelan for a Venezuelan dictator in Venezuela, if you want to think about it that way. Um, I'd rather not call him a dictator because I don't think he is a dictator. Okay. He's definitely uh, brought in certain laws and stuff that were unnecessary, in my opinion, or maybe necessary if, you, if the CIA is trying to do a coup on you. Or your choice was to install a CIA-backed regime in your country. Given the choice, I would choose Venezuelans that aren't working with the CIA. Because Venezuela has hit bottom with Maduro. And it's slowly starting to improve economically. Slowly. It really went down. And you have to appreciate that Venezuela, gold was seized, assets were seized, businesses were seized, bank accounts were seized by the United States and the UK and the rest of the Western world because they didn't recognize Maduro in the previous election. So that gave him cause to seize Venezuelan assets, basically steal Venezuelan assets, put sanctions up the yin-yang on them, right? And economically try to annihilate Venezuela the way they tried to do with Russia and failed, right? So Venezuela will say civil unrest, okay? It's related to everything we talked about with the reserves here from what we understand and the mass migration and the great replacement the united states losing power in the rest of the western in the rest of the global south if you want to call it or the rest of the global majority and the monroe doctrine kicking in 